Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a look in on the sign of cancer. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so if they apply, that's awesome. If they don't, you know what to do with it. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! If anyone would like a personal read with me, all the info will be in the box below. If you'd like to learn tarot, I do have classes available. Um, you can give me a shout at my email in the box below as well as the mystery healing boxes done by Crystal and myself. So, if you're interested, you know what to do. So, Cancer, let's find out what's shaking with you. Thus far in August. Cancer, are you trying to regain some glory? Or regain some respect? Hmm. Let's find out. Bottom of the deck. Whoa. Cancer, we have the Empress. Now, Queen of all Queens here, known as a Libra or a Taurus, but she can be any sign because she's a little bit of all the signs. She is practical. She is methodical. She is anical, uh, analytical. Get that out there. She's kind. She's nurturing. And that's what she's admired for. She can take an idea, birth it into the here and now, and make it a reality. And sometimes it does mean pregnancy. But this is like being on, you know, the top of your game. Let's see how that applies here. Let's get it. Cancer, we're going to start off with the popus, which is like the hair font. You know, having faith and having hope. Higher institutes of learning here. Doing things in a conventional way. Doing things textbook style. And what's crossing to help or hinder? Cancer. You got the Ace of Pentacles. The universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take this or not. An opportunity for to see here, taste, touch, prove things. Money? Sure. A new job? Could be. An opportunity to have the things that have worth and value to you, Cancer. Now, for Empress status, do you know what I mean? She does play by the rules. She does things the right way. And that's how she gets her admiration from people. And by doing something in a textbook way, you know, a conventional fashion, the way it's supposed to be done, the right way, Cancer. Is what brings in these opportunities. Now, in your foundation, you have the Ten of Wands. This is taking all your know-how, all your experiences, and moving forward with them, but being able to drop them, Cancer, because it's a heavy load. Maybe all these wands aren't yours, but you made them yours. But Ten's at the end of a cycle, Cancer. You know, this hauling this load it's about to end. Now it's crowning your whole reading. It's a queen of coins. Now here's your Cancer. 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 <laughs> here's your Capricorn, your Taurus, your Virgo. Or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is practical, methodical, grounded. A realist. They see things how it really is. They don't sugarcoat a damn thing. They're practical with their coin. I always call her the farmer's wife because she loves the outdoors. She loves animals. Very scheduled, very, you know, meticulous about staying on a schedule. And currently your whole reading here, Cancer, maybe these are the properties, you know, that you need to take on to get this opportunity to do the conventional way, stay grounded, you know, see everything for face value, so to speak. I think so. And doing things the right way seems to be still ringing true with me here. Now, in your recent past, 
Cancer, you have the Sun card. Most positive card in the deck. You know, life is great. You're feeling exuberant. You're feeling alive. A part of life. Could be in the spotlight. Like this guy is. I might have mentioned this is a Leo card. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Or you have in the recent past. But this is like getting accolades. I feel. A job well done. You know, maybe before in the past, that people have looked at you in empress-like status, Cancer. I couldn't help but notice the look on, under this card. You get death. Death, Scorpio card. But death demands transformation. When the universe sends death in, okay, it's going to change something. Big time. And when it changes it, it transforms something forever. It's never the same again, Cancer. Cancer, maybe at one time, whether it was a job, friendship, love ship, you know, any one of those ships, that you were on top of your game. And you're looking for that. You're looking to get back, you know, this feeling, you know, of total happy, happy. Maybe you've lost sight. But to have these things and have the universe offer them again, stay grounded, Cancer. Stay grounded. Practical. And going into your future, you have the Four of Swords. This is about taking a step back, take a breath, reprioritize, re-strategize, make a plan, Cancer, make a plan B. All great wars have been won with a great plan. And having a plan going forward, Cancer, knowing what you want to accomplish, how you want to do it, <clears throat> and making a plan just in case you run into obstacles is always a great thing. Because if you expect these things and you already know how to get by them, they're that much easier, Cancer. So much easier. Now, how people see you in your environment they see you as the Knight of Swords. Now, this is the air suit of Gemini Libra Aquarius. He's the fastest knight out of all of them. I always feel that this is a, like an agitated energy. Because he comes in so quick, sometimes he can, you know, cut you with his tongue. Words are harsh. Because he's not coming, you know, from an emotional field, Cancer. He's coming from an analytical field. Got nothing to do with the emotions. And people are looking at you like this, Cancer. You know, they might be, you know, looking at you like maybe you are agitated about something. Maybe you are just, you know, well, to be honest, choosing your words carefully. And people are looking at you like that. But you're quick. You're quick to answer. So, Cancer, again. Again. Take it around it. Be cool. Cancer, be cool. Make that plan. And execute it. And I think after that, Cancer, you can, you know, slow your roll. I feel like this is you coming off the cuff. Cancer, if there's something that you want so bad that you're willing to go after it, especially if you had it before. And again, you know, this could be partnership, friendship, love ship, career ship, any ship. That you might be, you know, jumping the gun here or maybe not going about it the right way. Because you want it so bad. So Cancer, slow your roll. In your environment, you have the Page of Wands. Now, wands come from the fire suit of uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But more so, this is just a messenger. It's a messenger to take a course of action. 
Okay, so to move on something. Maybe you are waiting, you know, for the green light to move on something. A new opportunity in something. And maybe you're just getting a little fidgety. Antsy. Because, Cancer, I feel like you do want to move on something. You do want to put something in motion. And maybe it's just not coming fast enough and, you know, you're getting irritated with this because you're ready to go. And the opportunity hasn't come yet. Now, in your hopes and fears, Cancer, you have the Four of Wands. Now, this is normally known as a, the marriage card, but it's bringing something to a higher level, a deeper commitment. Now, whether you're dating go exclusive, exclusive, you know, moving together, you get it. In a job sense, this would be like, you know, going to a higher level, making more money, getting that promotion. And you're hoping for it because who fears that? Cancer? No one. No one fears making their situation better. Cancer, take the properties of the Queen of Coins, please. And stay practical and stay grounded. And see things for how they really are. Because your outcome card... Is the Seven of Swords, the Thief card. The cat that ate the canary in this card is the person that lies right to your face, the frenemy, the one that spreads your bids all over the place, stirs up a bunch of BS and acts like it was never them, the, the person that steals your material things, your hopes, your dreams, your heart, the person that can't stand by their convictions so they leave out the back door because they're just coward. So Cancer, like I said, take the properties of the Queen of Coins and see something for how it really is. Because if you're agitated, you're ready to go, you could overlook something. And all of a sudden, your opportunities aren't there anymore. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.